as you go down a group in the periodic table, the first ionization energies of the elements decrease. The inner electrons in an atom block or shield the positive charge of a nucleus from the outer electrons. This is referred to as inner electron shielding. As outer electrons get attracted to the nucleus and are pulled in tighter towards it, they start to get repelled by inner electrons. This repulsion reduces the overall attraction force between the outer electrons and the nucleus. The greater the level of inner electron shielding within an atom, the weaker the force of attraction between the outer electrons and the nucleus, making it easier to remove an electron from the atom. As elements below each other in a group have more inner electron shells than the elements above, the level of inner electron shielding is greater, meaning outer electrons are further from the nucleus and experience a weaker attraction to it. As a result, it is easier to remove these electrons from the atom and the first ionization energy decreases. For example, down group 1 with the alkali metals, we can see how as the atoms get larger, their first ionization energies decrease, with sodium having a lower first ionization energy, 496 kilojoules per mole, than lithium, 519. And potassium has a lower first ionization energy, 419, than both of them. It is important to point out that the positive charge of the nucleus does also increase down a group, which does cause greater attraction between electrons in the atom and the atom's nucleus. However, the increased level of inner electron shielding has a bigger effect on the attraction the outer electrons experience, meaning the increased positive charge of the nucleus is offset by the increased distance the outer electrons are from it. This isn't the case, however, when we move across a period. As you go across a period in the periodic table, first ionization energy increases as a trend. This is because, across a period, atomic number increases, meaning more protons and positive charge in the nucleus, whilst the level of inner electron shielding stays the same, as all elements in the same period have the same number of inner electron shells. As a result, the outermost electrons experience a greater attraction to the nucleus and are pulled in tighter to it, decreasing the atomic radius of the atom. The decreased atomic radius means less distance between the outermost electron and the nucleus, increasing the strength of attraction between them and making it harder to remove the electron, therefore increasing the first ionization energy. For example, across period 3, sodium we've seen has a first ionization energy of 496 kilojoules per mole. Magnesium 738, aluminium 578, silicon 789, phosphorus 1012, sulfur 1000, chlorine 1251, and argon 1521. A clear trend showing an increase in first ionization energy. All these elements have the same number of inner electron shells, two meaning they all experience the same level of inner electron shielding, whilst at the same time, moving from left to right, the positive charge of the nucleus increases, causing greater attraction between the outermost electrons and the nucleus, decreasing the atomic radius and making it harder to remove the outermost electron. Notice that I've been careful to say that first ionization energy increases as a trend across a period. If we look at the first ionization energies of elements in a period in a graph, we always see two exceptions to this general trend, elements in group 3 and group 6. Moving from group 2 to group 3 leads to a decrease in first ionization energy. This is because for group 3 elements, the extra added electron has to go into a new P subshell that is higher in energy than the S subshell the outer electron in the group 2 element is in. 
This means the outermost electron for the group 3 element is at a higher energy than for the group 2 element and is easier to remove as a result, given a lower first ionization energy. The added proton and positive charge in the nucleus doesn't quite give enough extra attraction to override the increased distance and energy gap between the S and P subshells. For example, when we look at the first ionization energy of aluminium, 578 kilojoules per mole, compared to magnesium, 738, we can see that there is a surprising drop between the group 2 to group 3 element. The electron configuration for magnesium with its 12 electrons is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, whereas for aluminium with its 13 electrons it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1, with that added electron for the aluminium going into the 3p subshell, which is a higher energy than the 3s subshell the outermost electron in magnesium exists in. The increase in positive charge of the nucleus, from 12 plus to 13 plus, just isn't quite enough to overcome the increased energy from the 3s to the 3p subshell. And as a result, the strength of attraction is weaker and the electron more easily removed, given a lower first ionization energy. There is also a decrease in first ionization energy moving from group 5 to group 6. This is actually because for the group 6 element, the added electron has to go into a half-filled orbital in the P subshell, leading to repulsion. This repulsion increases the energy of the electron pair in the orbital and makes them slightly less stable, meaning less energy is needed to remove one of them from the atom given a lower first ionization energy. Just as before, the increase in positive charge of 1 plus from the nucleus isn't quite enough to overcome this effect of repulsion, and first ionization energy decreases as a result. For example, across period 3, as we've seen, phosphorus is in group 5 and has a first ionization energy of 1012 kilojoules per mole and sulfur is in group 6 and has a first ionization energy of 1000 kilojoules per mole. The electron configuration for phosphorus is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3, and for sulfur it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. The extra electron that sulfur has has to go into an already half-filled p orbital. The two negatively charged electrons will repel slightly and this causes repulsion and increases their energy, making them slightly less stable and it's therefore easier to remove one of these electrons compared to an outer electron from phosphorus. Although there is again repulsion for a group 7 element, such as chlorine when another electron gets added, the positive charge increase in the nucleus increases the attraction between the nucleus and outer electrons enough to offset this repulsion, and the first ionization energy increases again.